Tens and ones to 100, lesson 6.7. We can show numbers to 100 as tens and ones. Here we have 62. We have six tens and two ones. There are six rods of 10 and two units of one. 62 has a six in the tens place and a two in the ones place. After 99 is 100. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ones. That's 99. If we add one more unit, we'll make a rod of 10, and we'll have 10 tens. Ten tens are equal to 100. These ten tens are equal to a flat of 100 units. I can move these units together. Let's see if we can move these together nice and neatly. We'll squish them all together. And if you look, it's the same as this one. See? We had 10 tens that we moved together, and it's the same as 100. When we count 98, 99, 100. 98 has 9 tens and 8 ones. 99 has 9 tens and 9 ones. And the very next number would be 10 tens and no ones, zero ones. 10 tens is the same as 100. See how it looks like we have 10 tens right here? That's actually the same as zero tens and one 100. Our place values are the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. But we can also look at this as ten tens. See? How many tens are here? How many ones are here? We can count the rods of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight tens. And there are one, two, three, four ones. What number do we have? We write the eight in the tens place. We write the four in the ones place. We have 84. How many tens do we have here? Each of these are a rod of 10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven rods of ten. And how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tens and seven ones. What number do we have? We put a seven in the tens place and a seven in the ones place. We have seventy-seven. Now look at how these are. The tens are over here and the ones are over here. We still write the tens here and the ones here. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five tens. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. The number we have we put a five in the tens place and a six in the ones place, we have 56. So if you see the models where the ones are in the middle, they're on this side or on this side, they're still the ones, okay? We still have to write the tens on this side and the ones on this side. Tala has 68 buttons. How many tens 
is in 68, are in 68. There's six of them. How many ones are in 68? There's an eight in the ones place. We have six tens and eight ones. There are 52 cars in the parking lot. How many tens are in 52? There's five tens. There's a five in the tens place. How many ones are in 52? There's two. There's a two in the ones place. Five tens and two ones is 52. Bob has 50 green marbles and 50 orange marbles. How many marbles does he have in all? Well, the green marbles, he has five tens and zero ones. The orange marbles, he has five tens and zero ones. We can add the ones Zero plus zero is equal to zero. We can add the tens. Five tens and five tens is ten tens. He has ten tens and zero ones. And do you remember what ten tens are equal to? Ten tens are equal to one hundred. He has 100 marbles in all. 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. We added the tens together and there were no ones. Here we have a riddle. I am greater than 24. I am less than 30. I have eight ones. What number am I? We could write the numbers to help us figure this out. It's greater than 24. So if it's greater than 24, then it's bigger than 24, and 24 is not included. I am less than 30. So it can't be 30. It has to be less than 30. So 30 can't be included. I have eight ones. Well... Here are the numbers in between 24 and 30. Can you see the one that has eight ones? Eight in the ones place? If you said 28, you're right. It's larger, greater than 24. It's less than 30, and it has eight ones. The number was 28. Our next lesson is problem solving, shown numbers in different ways, lesson 6.8. I ran out of rods of 10 and I had to draw them, didn't I? Yeah. Teaching supplies are expensive and I only have one kit. Now, if you want to use these models, these are the ones that I'm using. They're by Learning Resources. They're called Giant Magnetic Base 10 Set. And I have a magnetic dry erase board, so magnets stick to it. And that is what I'm using for my models, okay? So you can buy them online from Learning Resources, or you can buy them on Amazon, all right? I'll see you next time. Bye.